It is a typical weekday morning in Sarajevo. The market is open. Streets are crowded. Cafes full of daily routine. This man sits for his morning shave. So much here seems normal. If it weren't for all the graves. You get used to that. Leila Mayhitch is a political science student at Sarajevo's local university. I was 12 when war started. And that's when she says her childhood ended. It was 1992. Just eight years earlier, Bosnia's capital had been the symbol of peace, the host city of the Winter Olympic Games. The very place athletes marched in opening ceremonies in 1984. By 1994 was a cold and bitter cemetery. Still today, the former Olympic Stadium is surrounded. Headstone after headstone, note the ages. On a nearby hillside, this little boy points to the grave of his older brother, shot by a sniper on his way to school. So many scars remain. This is an apartment building in Sarajevo. Take a look at the mortar holes from the shelling. Patches of red like this are all over the city. Here, this one marks the exact spot where a mortar hit, killing dozens who were shopping here in this busy square. It was one of the bloodiest days during the four-year siege of Sarajevo. It is the image many Westerners remember. For locals, it is a part of their painful history, a reminder like the gravestones. There is no going back, but there is rebuilding. We have bad people, we, had good, we have good people. Bad people did something <laughs> really, really wrong. But there is so many people, we don't have to give up from them. And we have to stay here. Tourists are trickling in, and many here hope Sarajevo can become what it once was, a bustling, vibrant city known for its warmth as much as the war. It will be okay. It will be.